What is going on people? Welcome back to the channel guys. Today we're doing another bait review for y'all. The first bait that we're going to be trying out here is from Wild Game Innovations. It is the Acorn Rage. Now this was actually recommended to me from a subscriber on one of the other uh, deer bait videos that I did that's doing extremely well. Now this is a really cool one. This is one I have not used from Wild Game Innovations. It is 18% protein, 12% fat. Uh, says it's got really good airborne uh, scent. So that is it right there. There's the back with all the details on it. Awesome acorn pictures. Now this from Walmart cost me a whopping $10.47. So it was up there, it's in the $10 range, which I did not mind. Now the other bait that I got today is a liquid. Now the last video I did that did really, really good was the uh, deer cane and the buck bourbon and i mixed those two together now what some of y'all commented on was do not mix them together because it can increase the chance of mold and we want to see the comparison between the two so here's what i'm gonna do the first one is going to be right here this is the black magic that i got that we're going to be trying out today from deer cane and this from walmart was only six dollars and 48 cents pretty cheap and this is heavy too i think this is a 10 pound jug of it and it is just freaking it's heavy. It's heavy. I had to carry it from all the way down that hill, all the way out here. It was heavy. So what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to put this right here in front of this camera right here. And then with the acorn rage, I'm going to take this and put it all the way down there at the other end of the clearing where my uh, cellular game camera is. Now that only takes pictures. It won't do video, but it'll take pretty good pictures. But right here, this camera will do video. So we'll see the video of the Deer King Black Magic to see how well that does. That way we're not mixing them together so there's no chance of mold and you can see the comparison between the two from a pretty good distance away from each other. And what I'm hoping will happen is that this uh, black magic right here, the deer came black magic, will actually attract the deer, starting them down there, eating the acorn range, have them walk all the way down here and get on the black magic. That would be perfect. So let's go ahead and get started pouring this stuff out right here. Okay, so as y'all can see right here, this is uh, the camera right here. And it's kind of facing that way, kind of looking up the hill towards uh, the other camera. So I'm gonna move y'all right, uh, probably about right here. Yeah, all, all in this area. So I'm gonna move y'all up a little bit more so you can see better, okay. All right, so we're gonna put it all right here. I almost forgot. We gotta do the smell test. I completely forgot about the smell test. How could I possibly forget? Now, what I'm hoping this smells like is sweet, amazing molasses. Kind of like that other deer cane stuff did, but I'm pretty sure there's a reason they call it black magic. Doesn't really smell like much right there. All right, popping the tab. So, I mean, I can't really show it to y'all because I want to dump it over, but. Oh, oh yeah, that's like sweet amber molasses. It smells like, yeah, burnt molasses. That's exactly what that smells like. Okay, so uh, let's get to the pouring out part. It's gonna get messy. So I gotta be careful with this stuff because it's gonna get everywhere. All right, so I'm gonna put it right over here. Start it. All right, so there we have it. I'm gonna focus. Okay, so there we have it. All of our deer cane black magic has been poured out all right here. Y'all can see it. It's all right here. Camera's right there. We'll catch anything that comes in this area. So that is that. It is completely empty. And let me tell you, this stuff smells super, super sweet. I actually think I got some of my lens. Yep, I did. It was all poured out right here. As you can see, it's just all right there so here's where the camera is it's gonna be looking and it sees bam right there camera angle bam right there so you can see everything that's gonna come up to this on video so that's gonna be really really cool so next is we're gonna take the acorn rage we're gonna walk all the way up to the clearing all the way up there and then dump that out in front of the next camera all right so we are up the pipeline clearing I don't know if y'all can see all the way down there but that is the black deer feeder in the middle all the way down there. So we're up here at the second spot. 
where my SpyLink cell camera is right here and that thing is freaking awesome let me tell you so it's kind of looking out right over here in this spot right here so what we're gonna do is I'm gonna put y'all down like I always do and then I'm gonna empty it out right here so the camera that's right there can see it perfect so this is where I'm gonna dump it out at Now, it smells really grainy, kind of sweet, and that's about it. It looks uh, a lot like sand. Not that much too special about it. I don't know if you can smell it through the bag. Take a big whiff. <sighs> Not too bad. Not too bad at all. All right, so I'm dumping it out, all right? So here we have it. This is our pile of the acorn rage right here on the clearing. Bam, right next to the camera right there on the tree. So we are set. So now all we gotta do is we'll wait five to seven days, come back out, get the footage, and then I'll sit down with y'all and I'll show y'all everything that comes up and eats this bait. Now, fingers crossed, we get some really good deer. Hopefully a whole bunch of those doe that have been hanging out a lot lately. And if y'all were watching last year, we had that big buck that just disappeared on opening day, so I never saw him. But I have seen uh, on my cellular game camera out here, pictures of a really big buck, like a 10 or 11 point. He's really big spread, really good mass. So hopefully that's the deer from last year that I never got to shoot. And hopefully this year, I'll have another chance to take him down and that would be absolutely great. So hopefully these baits right here will bring him in and attract him. So I will see y'all in about five to seven days. All right, y'all, and we're back. It's been seven days, it's Sunday yet again. And the first ones we're gonna check out right here is from the uh, video camera. The video camera really didn't catch a whole bunch from the Deer Came Black Magic, which is kind of sad, but we're gonna click here and uh, just see what they got for us. So here is the first clip it. Oh, hogs. Yeah, I should have known. Whole bunch of hogs. They did not get very close to it at all. All right, here's the next one. Yeah, more hogs are kind of backing up. It's weird. They they weren't really coming in for you know the bait because the bait's like right there under the screen. And no, they just kind of stayed back. It's weird. And the final video, yeah, they're just staying back, eating around it. That's weird. That is very very strange, huh? All right, so the deer came black magic really didn't get a whole bunch of action, which is very strange. Now let's uh, move up the pipeline clearing a little bit and we're gonna check out the, uh, the acorn rage, sorry, I kind of blanked out there. Yeah, so we're gonna, we're gonna go up the pipeline and clearing, check out the other camera and we're gonna check out the Wild Game Innovations acorn rage and see what that got. All right, we got a coyote, very first one. Next, oh, we got a hog. It's a nice size hog too. Dag on. Got some deer. More deer. Wow. Looks like a doe and her two babies. So the acorn rage definitely attracted some deer, which is very, very good. More deer. Yep. They stayed around for a while. Dag on. Looks like they just kind of circled the area. <laughs> Coming to check out the camera. Oh man, look at all them hogs. Oh man. Yep, haven't seen any hogs really this summer, but I guess they're coming back. This is the first time I'm seeing a whole bunch of them like that. Dag gum. 
just tearing that acorn rage up. I'm, I'm really surprised. I thought the uh, Deer King Black Magic would have done a little bit better. But no, the acorn rage definitely brought him in. Holy cow. <laughs> All right, that is the final uh, photo that I have. That is a lot of hogs. So it drew in hogs. It drew in some doe and her two babies, and we had a coyote out there. <laughs> so all in all, a very, very good bait comparison. The uh, acorn rage did absolutely way more better. So what I'm guessing is, is when they were up there eating the acorn rage, they kind of came down, kind of smelling the black magic, but really did not give it much time of day. They just kept their distance and really didn't get very, very close to that. But the acorn rage just absolutely was the bell of the ball. Got all the attention, had deer, hogs, coyotes, like that, that's great. That's exactly what you want in a deer attractant. Even though you may not be trying to attract hogs, you can see very clearly that it did attract animals in, even those doe and the, and the, uh, the two baby fawns that she had. So that's great. That's a very, very, very good comparison. So guys, I really hope this helped y'all in your bait comparison that you're doing out there for this deer season. I really hope you got some useful knowledge out of this. I really hope you enjoyed the video because I really enjoy making them. So guys, I really hope you enjoyed it. If you haven't already, please make sure to like and subscribe to the Dark Collection channel so you get notified when more awesome videos like this drops. I'm planning on doing a whole bunch more bait reviews for this deer season. So y'all stay tuned, guys. I will catch y'all on the next one. Peace, y'all.